Early marriage is the future for millions of girls. 14 million girls under 18 will be married this year. That's 38,000 girls married today. That's 13 girls in the last 30 seconds. Look up. There is a child in the sky. There are angels. There are beliefs to challenge, wishes to be fulfilled. And here is a girl named Asmera. Feet grounded in Ethiopian soil, in a young girl's life. Her eyes turn toward possibility. Asmera, named for harvest, golden crops, bounty, loved by family, intensely curious, painfully shy, stubborn, and kind. Not yet 14, trapped. Look up. There are myths among the clouds. A myth about a boy locked in a prison tower with his father, a famous maker of labyrinths. The father made his son wings from wax and feathers and told him to fly out of the window to freedom. Don't fly too close to the sun, he warned. The wax will melt and you will fall. But the boy rose up flew too high, then fell to the ground, the burning sun the only witness to his descent. This is a myth. This is a lesson about limits. It reminds us that man was not meant to fly. We cannot reach the sun with wings crafted from feathers and wax and desperation. But look, here is Asmira. She is in a life that is not a myth, living in a world with its own limits. She is the only living daughter of Etenesh. My sister, she is called. Etenesh was once the wife of a loving man and the mother of three, a son and two daughters. Azmera, her youngest. Her life was full. Then her husband died. And then her eldest daughter. And Atenesh became a widow and a grieving mother. Left with nothing to remind her of those she lost. No photographs. No drawings, no letters. What she has is Asmera, and an older son, a young man who loves his sister with the same devotion as their mother. What she's left with is the determination to give her surviving children what she can. The elders warned Atenesh that Asmera too would die unless she was married young. Give her hand, she was told. Give her possibility, a chance to live. How much fear can one woman carry? How many children can she stand to bury? So when a man, 20 years old and a stranger, came to ask for Azmera's hand, Atenesh opened the door 
and let him in. She turned to the man and said, Here is my daughter. And she held Asmira and said, Here is a chance. Here is possibility. Go. In Ethiopia, this is how it was done when Etenesh was a girl and when her own mother was a child and when her grandmother was barely old enough to do more than play and fetch water. Here, it is said that if a girl is married too young, she is in danger of being split by her husband. 13 is considered to be a safe age, though the law says 18. Girls as young as seven have been married. What does it mean to split a girl? Is it like tearing a photo down the middle while each half witnesses the making of a ghost? What if a girl's life could be more? What if a mother's hopes could mean something? What if a boy could look up into the sun without falling? Look at this young man. He is not a myth. He is not a stranger to failed dreams. Meselu was the son to a dying father. He left school at seven years old to do the work of an adult. A farmer who wants nothing more than to be able to read. He once tried to leap past the edge of his world and fly away from it all. But here is the heart of a man strong enough to return to his mother and his sister. He was in the fields working the day the man came for Azmera's hand. He walked into the house and saw strangers talking to Etenish, and he knew what was happening. Each of our stories pivot on a single moment that short pause between what is and what could be. In a breath, we can decide between what we wish to be true and what we can make happen. Masalu said he would sell everything he owned to keep his sister in school, to give her the gift of a life with choices, to give her chances he never had. He told Etenesh, no. And Azmera stepped forward and told her mother, I want a better life. Together, they refused this marriage. I want to tell Azmera the most important parts of this story about a boy trapped in a tower. The same sun that brought this boy down raises you up and gives you strength. You can go as far and as high as you want as you are able to dream. It is not ambition that destroys us. It is not hope that'll lead us astray. You are a girl who has used her voice to say no. And every time you open a book, you continue your journey forward and up. We are from a country full of split girls. We must reach out with firm hands and hold them until the pieces fit again. You are showing them how to live by letting them hear you say, I want a choice, and this life is mine to make. This is how it happens. One girl follows behind the other until together they move forward towards something, a future.
Here's an unsettling fact. The number one cause of death for girls 15 to 19, it's not AIDS, it's not hunger, it's not war, it's childbirth. When girls marry young, education ends and the old cycles continue. Cycles of poverty, cycles of violence, cycles of ignorance. But a girl who gets an education starts a different kind of cycle because she's going to stay healthier. She's going to get married later. She's going to have fewer and healthier children. And most of all, she's going to have educated children. And it's not just mothers. Fathers too have to invest, so their daughters can dream.